Consider this complex scene. Strong global illumination effects arise due to diffuse interreflections between the white walls, specular interreflections within the plastic cup, volumetric scattering due to milky water, subsurface scattering in the candles and in the marble object, and translucency of the frosted glass. With an ideal source and camera, the direct and global components at each pixel can be computed using just two high-frequency illumination patterns. We now show several methods that use a larger set of images to cope with the resolution limits of the source and the camera. The same scene is illuminated using a projector with 25 patterns that correspond to shifts of a single high-frequency checkerboard pattern. From the captured images, the direct and global components are computed. Here we show magnified versions of the results for several scene regions. In each case, the global component is strong and arises due to one of the physical phenomena mentioned before. We now show results for several simple scenes that highlight specific physical phenomena. In this scene of eggs on a plate, the diffuse interreflections between the eggs are very strong, as seen in the global component. In this scene with colored wooden blocks, the specular interreflections produce striking effects in the global image. Novel images of the scene can be generated by simply using a slider that changes the weighting between the direct and global components. This results in a set of physically impossible images that either over or underemphasize the interactions between the objects. The peppers in this example show the effects of subsurface scattering. While the direct component mainly includes the specular reflections from the pepper surfaces, the colors of the peppers arise from the subsurface effects as seen in the global image. The colors of the peppers can be changed in the global image, and the direct image with the highlights added back, to obtain realistic novel images where the peppers have new colors. Similar subsurface effects are found in the case of candles. Notice how the global image captures the intrinsic colors of the candles, while the direct image has the surface highlights. Again, the previous approach is used to generate novel images of the candles. Here we see results for a hand with a green tattoo. The direct image mainly includes the surface reflection due to oils and lipids on the skin, while the global image captures the subsurface scattering and the tone of the skin. Notice that the green tattoo appears in the direct image and is very dark in the global image, indicating that the pigments of the tattoo ink are more opaque than the tissues of the skin. This scene of a kitchen sink includes objects immersed in milky water. The global effects are mainly due to volumetric scattering by the milky medium, which not only scatters light from the source, but also illuminates the objects as a secondary source. Notice how the direct image makes the objects appear as if they were in a clear medium, such as air. In this novel image, the two objects shown in the right have been inserted into the kitchen sink image. The inserted objects include all the desired volumetric scattering effects. In the case of a simple, uncontrollable source, such as the sun, the separation of a scene can be done by capturing a video while scanning the scene with an occluder that casts a thin shadow. The direct image is the scene lit by the sun but without interreflections. The global image includes the interreflections as well as the effects of the ambient sky illumination. The scanning of the scene with an occluder can be done much faster using a mesh occluder that generates a high-frequency illumination pattern over the entire scene. In this case, a small motion is sufficient to capture the images needed for separation. In this example of a cloth with folds, the global component includes interreflections within the folds as well as translucency due to the fine spaces between the weaves of the fabric. Here we see a face lit by a high-frequency stripe pattern. By assuming smoothness of surface properties, low-resolution direct and global images can be computed from this single, high-resolution image. In the case of faces, the specular reflections due to oils and lipids are captured in the direct image, while the skin tone is produced by subsurface scattering and is measured by the global image. Below we see the sum of the two components. Here we show novel face images that correspond to different degrees of oiliness generated by scaling the direct image and recombining with the global image. 
Here the skin tone is modified by changing the hue of the global image and recombining with the direct image. The fast separation methods developed in this work can be used to create new types of novel images. They also provide new insights into direct and global illumination effects that could lead to more efficient rendering algorithms.